Niall, um, defeating the FA Cup today, but very much sort of some positives to, to take away from that. Yeah, lots of positives. Um, I've already heard a lot of people say you wouldn't know they're four divisions higher than us. Um, we, we came into the game obviously with a game plan, um, and, and like I say, we didn't need any more motivation after what happened to the, the, the poor Isla um, in midweek. That was our motivation for everyone. We're going to run through a brick wall for what that poor girl went through. So, so we'd like to come to here. We started, I don't know if we started sloppy, but we didn't fully believe, I think. Um, it probably took them to get the first goal for us to, to kick in and kick on. And yeah, from that moment, I don't think Jack's had a save to make in the first half, maybe one. Um, we've had a couple of half chances, but it's been quite an even game with us having most of the possessions. I think it's one of those, isn't it, ifs and buts, but on another day we, we could have snatched it. Um, and the goals, both goals have gone through. The first one I think it's through my legs and the second one's gone through Jack's. It could have went anywhere, but that's the, the, the luck you need sometimes in the cup football. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, playing out of position um, for you today from centre forward to, to centre back. What was the, the reaction when you sort of had that conversation with the gaffer? Yeah, he, he rang me on Wednesday. I um, didn't know what the call was going to be at first and he, he rang me and then I think I've had about three sleepless nights since then. So, yeah, I, I've never been bothered to play out of position there. It's just when you're playing against full-time lads, uh, I was a bit nervous at the start, but luckily for us, they played one up front. Um, so me and Jimmy were able to pass one, on, pass them on to one each other. Um, so actually, it was it was a lot easier than I thought. Um, don't get me wrong, when the, the lad came on the second half, he's a bit of a unit like, but he's uh, <laughs> yeah, it was still okay. Um, but yeah, if the, if the gaffer needs me to play out of position, of course I'll play there. And obviously, it's mentioned that to Lewis just before the the gap in in sort of between Berry and York is a quite a considerable one um, for sort of in the FA Cup standards. Um, was it sort of exactly how you expected it to play out in terms of how York came and, and played today? No, far from it. Um, <clears throat> they play football every day. It's, it's their job. It's what they get paid to do. And you, 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 there might be a few cliche interviews on their side saying we were off. No, they weren't off. We, we dominated them. Um, so I was surprised by that. I, I expect them to to get a grip of the game, to dominate, to dominate every position. But if you looked all over the park today, I don't think anyone lost, really lost a battle. Uh, we, were, we were strong all over. So, like you say, the gulf should have been massive, but you wouldn't have noticed it if you were neutral here today. And obviously, over 2,000 fans, uh, a good travelling support from York. You could certainly feel it in the, the build-up to kick off. It was quite the atmosphere and it, yeah. it sort of stayed like that throughout the, the 90 minutes. How was that to, to play? Oh, it, it, it makes a huge difference. I mean, you, we did go through some tough moments, all of us, and yeah, the crowd is what spurred us on it. They, they do say the cliche about the 12th man, but it, it is. It just, just picks you up when you're having a bit of a down. And yeah, it was fantastic to see all three sides absolutely full. And obviously, they had their way in there, so it made a massive difference. And yeah, thank you to everyone that turned up today, definitely. And just finally, obviously, it's on to another week of cup action, the League Cup, then the, the FA Vals next Sunday. What are you, your thoughts on that? Yeah, we're, we're in the Cups to win the Cups, so I know that Paddy will be a very difficult game. Obviously, we, we beat them. Early on the season, they'll be looking to get revenge. And then Bishop Auckland is probably one of the tougher draws you could get um, in the Vars. So, two massive games. And you'll have to have a look at the squad, see how everyone's recovered after today. But, yeah, we go again and hopefully another cup run on the corner. Thank you.